welcome to this class. This session we are going to do some examples on Chaindu. So we have six problems here. <coughs> so the first one is sine power five of x given by uh, so that's the y function. So we have to find the derivative of that given function. So solution a we have y sine power five of x. Now, by definition, know that this is the same as saying sine x raised power five. So sine m x is the same as sine x raised power m. <gasps> Not that. So we let u to be sine x. So which implies we'll have y equals to u power five. So call this one equation one, call this one equation two. Now from one, the u dx will be differentiate a sine function you get a cos function and from two dy du will be five u power four <coughs> just use power rule uh, then dy dx is given by dy du times du dx, which will be 5 u power 4 times cosine of x, so which will be 5. And then u is sine of x power 4, and then cos x. So the same thing as saying five cos of x and then sine power four of x. So this is dy dx. And then b will have y is given by e raised power square root of three x plus one. So solution for this, let u to be square root of 3x plus 1. Actually, let me call it capital U. So they are going, going to apply chain rule twice. And small u to be 3x plus 1. So y will be e raised power capital U, and then this can be written as u raised power half, small u raised power half, because we're fixing this one to be u. <coughs> so call this one, call this two, call this one three. So from one, the capital U, the small u, just by power rule, we have a half, u raised power minus a half. From two, the small u dx will be three. And from three, dy, the capital U will be e raised power, capital U. Now we write the formula for dy dx. So dy dx will be given by dy d capital U times d capital U, d small u times d small u dx. You see this and this, this and this also dy dx. So dy du 
is a raised power capital U, the U, the, uh, the capital U, the small U is a half, U raised power negative a half, and then the U dx is three. So this is the same thing as writing three over two times u raised power minus a half and then e raised power capital u so the same thing as writing three over two square root of small u and then e raised power capital u so this dy dx so i e ui dx will be 3 over 2 root 3x plus 1 e raised power root 3x plus 1. So that's what that value will simplify to. <coughs> and then next problem. Let's see, we have y is one over one minus two x power three. You see this can also be written as one minus two x raised power minus three. So that we let u to be one minus two x, which means that y will be u raised power minus three. So you call this one question one, call this one question two. So from one, the u dx is minus two. From two, the y du is negative three, u raised from minus four, same as negative three over u power four. Now we know that dy dx is dy du times du dx. And then we replace in the values. So negative three over u power four times negative two which will be positive six over u power four, and therefore dy dx will be six over our u is one minus two x. And then we raise this one to four. So that's what we get. And then e, we have y is given by, is it a d given by x squared plus one power three. This one, we start by fixing the bracket. So let u be this, x squared plus one. By fixing that, you'll have y to be u power three. Now call this one equation one, call this one equation two. So from one, <coughs> from one, the u dx will be 2x and then from 2 dy du is 3u power 2. Now dy dx is dy du 
times du dx, which will be 3u squared multiplied by 2x. And this will be 6xu squared, this dy dx, but you don't stop here, replace u by what it is from the equation. So the 6x into u is x squared plus one, then power two. And then part E or the second last equation, y was given by 3x minus 2x squared power three. Now here, you let u to be 3x minus 2x squared. So that means <coughs> y will be u power 3. So call this one equation 1, call this one equation 2. Now from 1, du dx is 3 minus 4x, and then from 2, dy du is 3u squared. Now definition of dy dx is dy du times du dx, which is dy du is 3u squared du dx is 3 minus 4x. So this is the same as 3 into 3 minus 4x, u power 2. So this is dy dx, but you don't leave your answer in this form because u was not part of the equation. So this implies that dy dx is 3 into 3 minus 4x, into 3x minus 2x squared raised power 2. So this will be the solution. <coughs> and lastly, f was y equals to negative 7 over 2t minus 3 squared. Now what you do, use right y equals to minus seven, two t minus three, raised power negative two. These are just loss of indices. And let u to be two t minus three. So which means y will be negative seven, u raised power minus two. Call this one equation one call this one equation two. Now from one, du dt is two, and from two, dy du would be now 14 u raised power minus three. Now definition of dy dt is dy du times du dt, which will be 14 u power minus three times two. So this will be 28 u power minus three, which is the same as 28 over u power three, Therefore, dy dt is 28 divided by our u is 2t minus 3, and then this power 3. So this is the solution at f. Thank you.